Freak Show, Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Star Traders Frontiers. It's by the, I'm going to butcher this, the Tresse, or the Trace, or the Tresse Brothers, and it released on August 1st, 2018. I already did a little bit of live streaming of this. It's a very complex, deep, and I don't want to say confusing, because it's probably not, but there's a lot here, so it's going to take a while to really get a grasp on what the game has to offer, how to do everything in the game, so on and so forth. So we're going to learn together. I already, like I said, I already played a little bit. I have a, a very small amount of pre-existing knowledge. But like I said, this is a super deep and complex game. I'm looking forward to hopping into it and playing it with all of you right here, right now. We're going to start a new game. All right, we have a, a multitude of different options available to us. And, yeah, we could go with the Corsair, the Nomad, the Tracker, or the Traveler. I'm... Yeah. We're going to spend a bit of time here. So, let's see. We prioritize skills and ships, skills and contracts, HP and ship, or attributes and contacts. I'm going to go with the Pirate because I kind of want to see how the, like, the combat and the murder-death-killing stuff goes. So, with that, a Pirate is skilled at ambushing merchants and smugglers as well as creeping into zones to sell his stolen cargo. The quadrants are vast and a pirate who knows it well will be able to prey on the richest shipping lanes and visit the most profitable exchanges. Alright, and we have starting attributes of 12 strength, 10 quickness, 20 fortitude. I don't know what any of that means right now or how it translates. We'll figure it out as we go. 8 charisma, 12 wisdom, and 14 resilience. And the skills that we start with, I guess, are 3 Evasion, 10 Intimidate, and 10 Command. And we will be flying the flying... We will be flying the flying? Sorry. We will be piloting the uh, Guardian Interceptor. They, they say flying here, and, and, and that's fine, but... Like, they could just... It says ship. It doesn't say that we're going to be flying the ship. It's fine. Alright, and our contacts are the Prince. Alright, I say we, we go with it. Let's go. Uh, we will go with it, but before we do that, I'm just curious, what does the template do? Oh, we have, like, complete control over it, looks like? Maybe? That's pretty neat, I like that. So, if you know what you're doing, which I don't, but if you knew what you were doing, you played this, you, you have a grasp of it, and you know what you want to do, you can actually go and create your own character, and then change things up. I like that, I think that's pretty neat. But, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're gonna go here. And we're going to launch. Alright, so this is what we look like. We can choose our face. Arr, okay, there we go. We're going to go with that. It's the kind of uniforms we have here. Yeah, that seems cool. We can be a male or a female. Oh, that changed everything. Oh, well, that's... I know being a male or a female does change everything. Uh, no, my face is gone. Where did it go, man? I was so happy for a minute there. Now I'm... So oh, it literally went one forward. That makes me sad. Eh. Oh. There we go. Alright, we're back. Alright, we're, we're going to play on the default. That's fine. Uh, starting loyalty to Kadar Syndicate. I'm fine with that as well. Uh, basic difficulty. Uh, rich life among the stars. Live to tell about it. I guess we'll go with normal. I, I didn't even know there was a, a difficulty setting. Uh, sure. Again, super complex and difficult game. There's probably a reason that it starts you on basic, and I probably should be playing on that. But, we're not going to. So, live to tell about it. Let's see what basic has to offer. Captain and officers never die. Crew get a death save, 80% plus resilience attribute. Chance to survive a fatality. Up to four save slots. Challenges. As time ticks by, your game gets harder. Enemy and risk level scale against that progressing difficulty combat boosts gives your captain raw bonuses in battle against enemies the enemies are at 60 percent risks are at 80 percent and a 25 percent combat boost ship and crew rewards rewards increase the credits and experience your captain and crew gain across all of their activities we've got a 40 percent bonus i guess that's hp or xp i i don't i don't know maybe xp and 25 percent bonus profits that's with basic. So with normal, everything's the same except we drop 10% on our saving uh, survivability of fatalities, 80% and 90%. We 
We only get a 20% as opposed to 25%. We get a 25 and a 20 versus a 40 and a 25. Okay. We're going to go with it. Manually assign talents. I... I, I sort of want to do that, but also, again, I don't know enough, so I'm not going to. And we're going to be Captain Primrose. That seems like a really not appropriate name. We're going to be Captain Prung. Oh, that did not capitalize my... There we go. Prung. Because why not? That's like Primrose, only completely different and not the same at all. Okay. And here we are, the fifth pass. One year ago, I became a Star Trader Captain. Step forward, Captain Prung. From our cohort, you have been chosen to inherit your great uncle's charter. I am willing. We know your career will be one of strength and honor. Uh -huh. I abandoned my life as a grav and took to the stars. I am the master of my ship. I answer to no one except my officers and crew. In the void, we live by the unique code of the Star Traders. We make our own way among the stars. We stay alive and take care of the ship no matter what. The life of a spacer is a hard one. But my officers have my back. And together, we face the void. Cool. Orbiting uh, Balkanor. Captain, we've reached a stable orbital trajectory over Balkanor. By the way, I'm going to butcher... And mutilate horribly a lot of different places and names and just locations and stuff. So just just be aware that it's going to sound bad and wrong. And enjoy. Alright, let's click to advance. Should we engage the board engine? Let the engines rest. We need a minute for council. Officers, gather round. You all heard the message that I received at the starport today. A Kadar prince has requested that we transport a Zendu arbiter to his system. He is willing to pay handsomely, it seems. Speak your minds. Okay, a prince, an arbiter. Okay, these are probably important things. Captain, the woman is an arbiter. She may be one of the most dangerous people in the galaxy. Okay. But also one of the most powerful. It also means she is one of the Zendu bloodline, like the Templars. It is rare that a Star Trader captain is called on to help an Arbiter. This Estelle Obrockstrom could be a valuable ally. I've heard it said that working for a Zendu can be both a curse and a blessing. She claims she only needs a short lift across the quadrant. The pay would be good. There is much to consider. Your thoughts are appreciated. Dismissed! Arbiter Estelle Brockstrom is waiting for us at Central Koira Chini. I, I got nothing. It needs passage to the court of Prince Caligan Fane. Both she and the prince could be powerful allies. However, if we wish to avoid entanglements, we can go on our own way. A waypoint to Central Koira Chini has already been set. And I can check my mission list for further details or dismiss the request. Cool. Whenever you need advice or help with an interface, use consult to talk with your ossifers. Alright, ossifers. Right click the map to move the ship, left click to drag and pan uh, to pan and scroll. To zoom, map wheel. Or, sorry, mouse wheel, map wheel. To zoom the map, use the mouse wheel. Our current waypoint is set to the arbiter's location. To sail towards a waypoint, press the space or click navigate. All right, so we can pan around, we can zoom in and out, and I think we can change our location, but let's go. They seem to set us up for this. Let's go see what's going on. And as you'll see down here, I'm going to try to hit pause again. Apparently, there are a lot of just random things that happen throughout, so there's lots of just like random events. So compartment seals repaired, and we got crew dog talent safety protocols. Avoided an airlock accident, uh, avoid reactor containment field maintained, avoided fight during gambling dispute, dodged rocky debris. They're not all going to be good things, but they seem to give us some sort of benefit or, I guess, detriment if we fail these things. Uh, one saving talent still in reserve for this skill. Kale Caden, I guess. 
Uh, fine. Uh, one crew gained experience. I guess experience again. Uh, one crew gained experience. And... I don't know. Uh, pilot, uh, pilot talent expert maneuver it was gained. I guess here is the same thing. Uh, safety protocols. Okay. So you get to kind of see what happened while you're traveling. So we're going to head on over here and see what's going down. The Grav's here pay how much for a bath? Get your rebreather. Oh, lovely. All right, so what we can do, there's a couple things. I remember messing this up when I first you know, made it to a planet in my live stream. And you can go to the planet, you can patrol, you can blockade, you can spy. You can actually go on little expeditions on the planet. And you can earn various different things from doing that. But that's not what we're here for. That's not what we want to do. So I was like, oh, okay. I'm looking. I'm like, all right, we got all this stuff. I don't know what to do. I clicked on the planet. And when you click on the planet, okay, that's not at all what I thought was going to happen. It's, well, last time I did this, I thought I clicked on the planet. Maybe I, maybe I did something else. Maybe I did this. No, that's alert list. Yeah, I have no idea what I did. But essentially, I was able to go to the planet and try to explore it. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is go over here to our actual location that we need to go to. And we're going to attempt our landing here. Many welcomes, Star Trader. Arbiter Estelle Brockstrom, it is an honor. Indeed, Prince Caligon Fan promised he had dispatched a new but promising Star Trader captain to pick me up. I understand you have recently come into ownership of your Star Trader's charter. That is the truth. My great uncle perished during an exploration expedition last year. I was picked from among my cohort to take over the charter and ply the stars. Then you know the magnitude of both the responsibility and the opportunity that now rests on your shoulders. Caligon has asked that you personally escort me to his court. Prince Fayan has great respect for you. He knows you will have a long and honorable career with Kadar. By the way, if you guys are wondering how long like each dialogue is, there is a little indicator up here. There was nine different dialogue things going here. So that's up there. You click to advance, of course. And say you decided you're going to hop in, you're going to play. You play it all the way through. Maybe you beat the game, maybe you failed, whatever the case is, or you wanted to start over. And you're like, I know what the story says. You can also skip all. I know this is all basic stuff, guys and gals. You don't need me to tell you, but just in case you weren't paying attention, maybe you're watching on your phone, you can't read everything, I'm letting you guys know what is there. So we have a multitude of different options that we can choose from here. We have A, B, C, and D as choices. You have to find someone else as one of our options. Uh, Prince Fan's trust is well-founded is another. If the money is right, I'm sure we can cut a deal. And your flattery won't get you very far with me, Arbiter. We're going to go with C. That is pleasing to hear. Caligan has always been a superb judge of character. I am sure there will be more work waiting for you at the Prince's Court. Okay, what work were you doing on this world? Why do you need to go to the Prince, Prince Fan's Court? Let's talk specifics of this escort mission. Come aboard. We can work out the specifics later. We're going to go with C again. Why do we need to go there? Caligan and I are old friends, and we share a lot of the same causes. I have great respect for him. Unfortunately, his family has become embroiled in a legal dispute that stretches across multiple quadrants. Oh, well, that sounds bad. I have been called to make sure the letter of the law is followed, even over such great distances. She owes him a favor. Okay, um... Uh, what are the natures of his uh, legal dispute? That won't be a topic of conversation between us. Okay. Um, let's talk about the specifics. I need passage to the court of Prince Fan, direct passage, as I am in a hurry. I will offer a flat fee of 10,000 credits for the passage. It is better money than you will get elsewhere for intra-quadrant travel. What say you? We accept a welcome aboard. Okay, that's what we're doing. Excellent, I will join you shortly in the starport. I will pay you promptly on our arrival at Caligan's world. We have accepted a mission on behalf of Arbiter Abroxstrom. We should finish any business we have in the zone and then plot a course using the mission list. Okay, if it isn't for sale, the DeValtos already sold it. I'm confused, but fine. Okay, so I believe our cargo hold is probably completely empty at this point. There's a lot of information here. I don't know what most of it means yet. I'm sure we'll kind of be spoon-fed slowly 
like the various different things and that's okay and that's okay so we don't need any repairs everything went fine on our journey over here we have 15,000 credits we have zero out of 50 cargo we can buy water fuel for 594 every void operation from travel to hyper warp requires fuel we are going to buy the fuel because that just seems like a smart and not stupid plan and we're gonna go and we're gonna buy some cargo because we are gonna be going from one spot to another we might as well see if we can't pick some stuff up now uh, you're gonna want to of course buy the price per unit in the A's and then you're gonna also want to sell in that same situation so if we were selling cargo which we have none of we want to sell in the A's so it shows over here the global trade this is the average is 40 and the max like the highest is 72 that's what they're being sold for or bought for they're selling us price per unit right now of these edible plants for 27 which is pretty darn good so we're gonna definitely go ahead and grab some edible plants and we're going to purchase all 50 units of it. It's going to cost us $15.51. And yeah, that's it. So we have done that. And now I believe it's time for us to leave. Now these are legal, le legal? These are legal goods. So we can buy and sell them wherever we want. As long as it's also legal in the quadrant or the system that we're selling it in. But there's also illegal goods that we can buy. But then we have to, of course, smuggle them to various different places and so on and so forth. All right, looks like everything is going pretty good. So we're going to leave this place as soon as I remember out how remember how to get out of here. Current mission, no contacts. You just hit escape twice. Okay. I've noticed your officers and crew are giving me sideways looks since I settled in here. As a Zendu, I am used to it, but perhaps I can answer some questions to help settle your people. Well, it is not easy to impress this lot. I am not surprised that I failed to impress. I am a stern, older woman who looks nothing more. You do not give yourself credit, Arbiter. Your very presence carries weight. But I am not stronger, faster, or larger than any other woman. What makes my Zendu kind special is not physical power. It is our access to our genetic memories, Captain. Okay, um, are there many Zendu left? There are three remaining Zendu sects. The Arbiters, the Augurs, and the Templar Knights. The Arbiters are spread thin, working across the many quadrants as servants of the law. There have never been many Augurs. They serve in the great courts of the High Princes and the Templar Knights. They have long borne the brunt of the troubles of our people. They were always on the front lines of the Guild War. After the Exodus, they bled to protect the new colonies, but perhaps the Alzean campaign cost them the most. But now is the time to rebuild, if the Quadrants could only find a moment of peace. Fair enough. Hmm. We all have important work to do. Um, how far can you look back into your genetic memories? It is never easy to explain lineage memories to those not of Zendu blood. You did offer to answer questions. I would be interested to hear you try. I don't remember a time before the memories. They start when we Zendu are young. We strengthen our recall through meditation, patterned exercise, and ritual. There are the subconscious muscle memories, always guiding my hand or step. And then there are visual remembrances and voices that come forward of their own accord. Trying to consciously look back, seeking something, is difficult. Digging for something, trying to remember the Guild War, for example, that could be, that could even be dangerous. But my lineage is always there. That didn't really answer my question, I don't think. Alright, so you're going to help the Prince. I'm going to ensure that Shaloon Law is followed to the letter. I thought you said you and Caligon were longtime friends. Do not get the wrong idea, Captain. I am not going to Caligon's court to trade in favors. My sole responsibility is to enforce the law of our prophet Shaloon as documented in the Accords. May the flag watch over his grave. Okay, let's get to moving. Well, we will get you to the Prince we'll get you to Prince Fan promptly, Arbiter. Okay, so we can click down here for our current mission. It's Arbiter Escort. We have thirty nine weeks to do it. 
I don't know what 17 AU stands for. Um, I think we can do waypoint or just direct navigate. So I think we're just going to do navigate and it's going to immediately push us that way. Efficient and safe landing only costs one fuel. We got fuel back in and some more successful good things happening for us there. The right thing is not always easy, but it must be done. All right, so over here we have the wilderness. And I think that is... Okay, so that must have been what it was. I had multiple options the last time I played. So we can go to the wilderness land and we can do like exploration and all sorts of stuff like that. Kind of want to show what that's like before we hop in and we do the rest of the like campaign mission. So we're going to give it a shot and see. I may do something terrible and get myself killed. I don't know. I'd try anything once. You tell them, Calliope. All right. So what we're going to do is hide your valuable cargo on the surface and retrieve it later. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go on a surface expedition. All right, so there's a lot of RNG to this game as far as the various different things that are happening. As you can tell, when you're going from point A to point B, a lot of random things happen. Some good, some will be bad. Luckily, everything's been good up to this point. So when you go to do like exploration and things of that nature, you're going to come across stuff like this. Is there anything that explains what's happening here? Not really. Uh, so you can get refined resource, off-world stash, lost saltwater predators, and raw resources. A scan picks up a small cache, perhaps used by smugglers or indies, I guess? And basically improved by mining ship components. So 6 to 12 refined resources. Off-world stash, get more. And then we get weeks lost as our, our negative thing here. Our expedition becomes lost, trapped, and gravely delayed. And then the saltwater predators, the local fauna, huge, toothy, aquatic, or and aquatic, take predatory interest in the crew. 10 to 30 damage to up to 8 crew. So you run the risk every time you go to a place. I don't know if there's places that are all negative or all positive, but it always seems to have been a mix so far with my experience. So pick one of the five result cards without using a talent to change the odds. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to explore... And it looks like we're going to be lucky. So we got 12 to 22 raw resources. And yeah, good stuff. We discovered a deep seam of raw resources. Multiple excavation sites allowed us to tap the load. We deposited 20 units of edible plants in a hidden stash on the surface of this world. And 10 crew have gained a total of 60 experience points while exploring. It only took us two days. We could repeat it and draw a new set of five cards. And I'm okay with that. Let's try it. Again, we got two good and three... Oh, sorry, three good and two bad, it looks like. Although this one's weird. Repair ship and re and siphon fuel. Okay. Oh, well, we're going to go with it. We'll see what happens here. Oh, dear. Yep, it's going to be a negative one. A towering water spout lifts into the sky, threatening to suck the suck in the expedition. Uh, reduces Reduced by crew protection components. Alright, so up to 15 crew done got wrecked. Uh, skill save. Rolled our skill, 0 strong dice, and half our attribute, 6 standard dice, versus opposition's 4 strong and 19 standard. We failed a stealth plus wisdom test. While exploring the horrifying environmental forces of the planet, injured 14 of our crew, each suffering 38 damage. Alright, so not great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to back out of this. And we're going to land at the place that we're supposed to land. Looks like they have rolled out the red carpet for you, Arbiter. I think that is for Caligan, but it has the effect. Estelle, you're a face to warm, tired eyes. That's weird. And Captain, many welcomes. Thank you for escorting Estelle here safely. Greetings from the stars, Prince Fane. I did not expect such pomp at the starport. We have a lot to get through here, guys and gals. We've all been waiting for your arrival, Estelle. This mess is progressing and has sped up, not lost steam. We have much to discuss. Let us retire to the palace. Star Trader, you have earned my gratitude. I have high-paying work for a captain of your caliber. Come and visit my court once you have settled everything with your ship and crew. Thank you, Prince Fane. We may take you up on that offer. We have gained a moderate experience reward, 120 experience across the crew. We have gained plus 5 rep with uh, Kadar and 10 rep with Prince Caligan of Fan. And off they go. The prince seems very intent on getting Arbiter Brockstrom's assistance. Captain, the prince starport, the prince's starport commander has paid us our 10,000 as promised and a 2,000 bonus to boost. To boost? To boot. I'm sorry, I can't read. It's fine. 
Hold up. One fane has stuck around. Okay. Many welcomes, Star Trader. It's Zet Fane. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Zet Fane, the prince's sister. Let me extend my brother's warmest welcome. Okay, what other work do you think your brother has planned for us? What is uh, the legal case that Brockstrom has come to observe? The bombing of the Highwind Military Orbital? Surely Estelle told you about this. It is a steel song research facility. I have heard of it in passing. It was... Uh, Estelle must have told you. Caligon's daughter, Valencia, has been charged with terrorist act of destroying the High Wind, Which is completely ridiculous. She went aboard the station for a scientific meeting. What idiot would plant a bomb at the same time? Not Val. But Estelle hasn't spoken with you about it? You really don't know. Then the Arbiter is not going to help. Did she say anything like that? Um, she said that she would do her duty as Arbiter of uh, Shaloon Law. Shaloon, curse her arrogance. The feigned cohort needs her assistance? By the flag, yes we do. The loss of life at Highwind alone. It is not a legal battle we can stand to lose. If it comes to that, they will demand Valencia's life in retribution. And the Arbiter would just stand by? Just like the void, retribution justice has no mercy. The damages are great enough. Steel Song could be granted a duel of assassins against Valencia Fane, personally. I hope that we will see you at the palace, Star Trader. I must be off. Alright, behold the majesty of a Kadar military a detachment. I know we didn't get too deep into what's going on and what we need to do. I am going to spice leaves for... Spice leave for one crew cost. Okay, that's fine. We'll probably do that for everybody, but for right now, Medic will heal everybody up. Uh, we'll pay the wages. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sell the cargo. And here, the price per unit, it's not... It's its pretty good. It's pretty good. So we, we bought it at, what was it, 24? We're selling it basically for over double. Double would be, what, 48? So we're selling it for what, 10 more than double. So there we go. Uh, let's see here. What is this exactly? Uh, edible plants. The economy of this world hungers for edible plants. We make this trade during a galactic trade ban between Kadar Syndicate and Clan Makalumnu. Sure. If we proceed, we will lose rep with Clan Makalumnu. Oh, wait, wait, what? In demand of pop refinery. I, I, I don't, I don't, are, are we? During a galactic trade ban. Are we, is there a galactic trade ban? I, I don't. Well, let's see what happens. Anyway, so we made some money. We made some money. We were at 15k, now we're at 25.3. And before we do anything else, let's hop out of here. Let's go land here again. Let's go into our stash because we got some more edible plants right here from the last thing. We're going to claim these and then we're going to go back up and we're going to sell these as well. And yeah, that's, that's pretty good for us. Now the price went down because we did just end up selling some stuff. So there you go. We could have technically held out and tried to sell other places, but I think that's fine. All right, we're going to go back here, and what does this do? Pay for this, the crew to take relaxing leave time in the spice hall. Multiple trips are often required. It takes two days. Morale is high, so we're good. We don't have to continue. Okay, right, so spice leave is fine, and it looks like everything that we could do that are, let's like, good is is done we'll refuel again because we just went on that little trip back to the other side of the planet and i think this is going to be the spot where we break it off i got maybe a little bit further than this i tried a few other things out but i really haven't gotten in any combat or anything like that yet so this is roughly where i left off on my live stream it was a lot slower going than this so moving forward it may be slower as well i don't know we'll take a look at our crew in the next episode we'll take a look at the ship maybe we'll be able to do an upgrade to the ship and we'll see what we want to do next. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is, in various links. And like I said, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. Give me that thumbs up, guys and gals. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Several other indie games are being covered. I'm doing first look videos, full series. There's a whole bunch of stuff there for you guys to check out and enjoy. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.